G'day guys, we're gonna try and get us started today. Sort of just wish I just would focus on one car, like, hey, hey, there it is. She's looking pretty good. Anyway, back to this. Okay, so I can see a couple of relays here. They sort of look um, aftermarket, I don't know. They almost look like a bit of an afterthought. I think they go down to the starter motor. Anyway, let's start with the easy stuff first. Royal Pine, I reckon we'll start with this. Like I said, start with the easy stuff first. Start with the fun stuff before you really dig in. And I reckon, like, you've got to make it look, well, smell nice. So let's go in here. I don't even have a mirror. How am I meant to hang it? Damn. I've got to have one of these ones in. All right, looks like we've got to do some actual work. All right, first things first, let's roll up the sleeves. Have a bit of a squeezy, so I'm gonna take this off here. Oh, well that just fell off. I still don't know about this, like, that, that's, is that an extra part? Was this the original bit that went on there? I don't know, whatever. It's all dirty, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take out the plugs and have a bit of a look. I reckon we, that's a good start. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. The plugs will tell us a lot of information. I'd rather them be black and sooty, you know, if it's running rich or whatever, that'd be better. Man, this thing's dirty, but I figure that we'll just get it running first and then we'll pressure wash the shit out of it. I'm more of a carby kind of guy, so I don't really know much about EFI. There's so much grease that usually you can just sort of just wiggle them out turn them, but uh, the, my fingers are just slipping on the end of the uh, spark plug. Let's have a bit of a look. Man, that's wet. So yeah, like that's running rich. So I'm happy to see that. If you see that it's real dry and like crusty, then you may have an issue with that particular cylinder. I mean, we can do a comp test, but you know, I'm lazy as. All I want to do is put some spark plugs, put a battery, new fuel, new fluids, and hopefully it runs. If I've got to chase wiring and stuff like that, it becomes a mission. So they sort of look the same. There you go. Bum them straight back in. Sometimes they're at a, like a weird angle. You think they're going straight on, but they're not. Get in there. Okay, it's a toy like a toy gun. When was the last time you heard somebody say that? Um, where did the plug go? Here it is. Oh wait, no it's not. Oh, that wasn't even the first one. That was the second one. Okay, that's the first one. Let's do that all over again. What are some other sayings you guys uh, haven't heard in a while? There's another one. Have you heard somebody say, what's cracker lacking? When was the last time you heard somebody say that? Aha, yes, I can hand unscrew this. Man, it's just caked on. Is that, that's not even the same spark plug. They're two different spark plugs. Okay. Oop. Let me um, let me fast forward through all this work, and I'll show you if there's any spark plugs that are looking a little amiss. I mean, this is pretty boring. You guys have changed spark plugs before. All right, so I've changed the spark plugs. Um, look, there was nothing really that worrying. They're all just real greasy. You know what I mean? So I honestly don't know when the last time this uh, car ran. I'll have to just talk to the bloke that sold me the car. He reckons that I think he had it running, but maybe there was an injector blocked or something. I'm not really sure. The more that I look at it though, the more worried I get, because I can see that it's been worked on before. I mean, there's zip ties here and bits and bobs everywhere. I still don't, I don't get this bit here. Like, I think that goes on there, but like, what? what's the go with, with the, such a long hose? Anyway, if you guys can let me know, That'd be great. Maybe he put it on there to see whether it would run. I don't know. 
Anyway, let's open up the air box. So, if you guys uh, know about EFI or don't know about EFI, whatever, you got your intake manifold here. So this is your air box. I can see there's a little hole here and the air goes through there. However that happens, I don't really know. It sort of goes down there and then in there. So there's a, a filter element in here, which we should change out because I reckon it's dirty as. We should probably clean the um, intakes um, a little bit before we put it all back together. And honestly, I'm probably just gonna do the bare minimum just to see whether it turns over. I don't think I'm gonna change the oil yet until we can actually you know, turn it on. Um, I'll just top up the fluids and put a battery in and see whether it turns over. Just come around here if you can see. Maybe that, oh well yeah, it's because it's broken, that's why. Probably have to replace it with another zip tie. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Probably gonna drop a bunch of dirt and shit in there, but anyway, whatever. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's looking pretty shit out. Man, there's just so much stuff in the way, isn't there? Whee! Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Ooh, fuck. Anyway, sorry, cameraman. Yeah, we're gonna clean it. Yeah, I just, I've got glass cleaner. Yeah, whatever, yeah, you'll be right. I don't even have a vac in here. I can't be bothered getting one. Mm. Lovely. Do the old scoop. Scoop the poop. <coughs> and then put it somewhere over here. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. It's gonna have some clean glass after that. This doesn't even spray properly. Well, it sucks. What am I even doing? Yep, you beauty. Nice. All right, we'll let that soak just for a minute and then we'll get another rag. No, I think I've got the right filter. I bet you it's the wrong size. When I, when I first gave it to me, I thought it was like a big circular filter. Oh, it sort of looks like the same. Yeah, it should be right. Okay, well, maybe I'll just keep that in a dust-free area. Right there. Some rags. Our glass cleaner, I'm sure, has worked its magic. Oh, yeah. I can feel it on my fingers. I can feel it everywhere. So this is meant to be like the clean air that comes in. Or something. Obviously, the cleaner, the better. You don't really want to have anything flowing through. I mean, the filter will stop it, sorta. Of. But uh, yeah, you want to keep it clean, you know. We just want to see whether it runs, and then you know, yeah. Look, I'll probably open it back up to clean it properly. Uh, should I do in there? There's sensitive electronics. Maybe a little bit of. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, nice. I won't go in there. I'm not that crazy. Drop a, drop a comment below. Let me know whether you guys are perfectionists or whether you sort of just half ass things and you know, hopefully. That's gonna come back to bite me actually because at this point we won't be able to get this started, I bet you. I bet you there'll be some sort of wiring problem. I mean, if the guys, whoever's owned this last, if there's zip ties everywhere, I mean, what does that tell you? It's like, it's probably gonna be an absolute drama. It's probably gonna be low comp. I mean, or maybe not, because it's a Ford. I don't know. Life's tough, actually. Man. Whoops. Oh, hang on. There's like a lip there. Oh, I don't know. Does it go in? Is it meant to go in further? Oh, no. It just sits on top. Whatever. Oh. Okay. So that should go back like that. Catching on every single wire, because there's 50 million of them. And then that should hold that in maybe there. 
This is the one that had a zip to us, so I mean, it probably won't. I don't know. This clip's broken off, of course. Should be right. Anyway, so um, let's see what else we got. Ah, let's clean the intakes. Maybe we should have used this to clean out the airbox. Maybe not. Well. Um, let me go another rag. Rags over here. Behind the cameraman. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I wonder what the history of the car is. I wonder whether it was loved. I think it's done 330,000 Ks. I wonder how many burnouts this thing's done. I wonder how many attempts at burnouts this thing's done. All right, cool. So, intake, airbox, fine. I see things are still connected, which is a good sign. Uh, in here, maybe. Oh, look at that. My little saxophone. My little elephant trunk. I don't know whether that was a good idea, to be honest. I don't want to undo this part here and it's all down there. It's not very smart. Maybe I'll have to undo that. I'll do it properly. It's because I'm getting filmed that I have to do things properly. Otherwise, you guys might leave some nasty comments or something. Yeah, something like that. What? Oh, this probably hasn't been apart in a million years, that's why. I don't even know when I want to take it apart. Will I be able to get it get back on? Nah, it's going back. <laughs> I'm just tightening, I'm not, not taking that apart. I just want to get it running. I don't want to restore it, do I? Oh, it'll fucking dry. She'll be right. No, it won't. It's going to go straight into the... Oh, I'll just leave it here. Okay, so um, what else do we need to do? Okay, while, while we're at it, I think this is the power steering. I hope it is. Is this the power steering? It is, isn't it? What am I talking about? Okay, I'll uh, fill that up. Full cold. Okay. How much do I need to put in there? Let's just wing it. Um, let me just put that back in there and see whether the dipstick recognises that there's stuff in there. Nah. Okay. And some more. Oh, shit. I reckon I put too much in there. <laughs> Let's just close that and pretend like that didn't happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. It's actually getting all the grease off. Nice. Look at that. It's coming up new. Brand new. Okay, let's have a look at the coolant. Bone dry. Okay, let's go look for some water. Come with. Let's go this way. Do you reckon that's water? I can unscrew. Why is everything so hard around here? Um, oh, it'll be right. Let's just use this. Imagine if it was petrol. No, nah, it wouldn't look like that, would it? Um, do I need a funnel? Nah, I don't need a funnel.
and there's all these like little particles in there just lovely I don't know how much just a bit <coughs> God, I can't wait for all the comments Yep, I can see flakes in there. Okay, so what else have we got here? Geez, these lights have been smashed up. What's it go with that? Bend down here and have a look at that. What's going on there? Ah, my finger. What about over here? Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. At least the grill's nice. It's not broken. All right, we're gonna rob the battery from the engine test stands. Just a bit of a rusty adjustable wrench. All right, so we've put the battery in, we've connected uh, it all back up. Some question marks over this car being an LPG car because it looks like it had a tank in the back. So we're just wondering whether everything was connected back up. I mean, there's wires sort of just dangling everywhere, so. We've got Terry involved, and um, yeah, we're gonna see whether this thing's actually gonna fire. Probably just give it a crank to see how. I'll put some fuel in the, um, some fresh fuel in the tank, and with the petrol injector stuff. Let's go around yeah. here. Let's chuck some fresh fuel in the uh, tank because I don't know how old it is. It's probably full of crap. You know, it's gonna block the uh, fuel filter. We've got a brand new one that we'll chuck in. We just wanna hear her crank over and then we'll be able to diagnose what's wrong with her. You know, follow the million wires and hopefully diagnose the issue. I'm not that confident in this car firing, you know, just cause it's CFI. Yikes. Shove that in there. Hear it get in there. Just dilute all the crap petrol. Hopefully, uh, will help. Sounds like a lot's going in, but it goes slowly. Trust me. I'll chuck maybe like five liters in. Careful not to get it all over my face. While we're at it, we'll chuck some um, injector. I only probably put in about maybe two liters. Sounded like it was going forever. Okay, we're gonna chuck in some uh, petrol injector cleaner. You know, if we have to, we'll take out the injectors and actually get them cleaned or whatever. But uh, let's see if we can put this in the fuel tank and let's see whether it's going to help. So the amount that we need to put in is some of it. Could be the starter, could be the fuel pump. I reckon it's the starter. We'll check back. All right, we're gonna give the starter the old hit with the uh, the two by four, so let's have a look. Nothing. Start is dead.
I can hear the relays going. Yeah. You don't know whether it's the relay or the starter. Yeah. So we forgot to uh, bolt up the earth strap to the motor, so maybe that's why it's not firing. You know, you get that on the big jobs. Okay. Uh, let's play it also. Let's try it now. Yeah. <laughs> let's try to start her up. Thank you. I just want to hear the starter motor engage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Before we engage. Alright, she turned over. So You're guilty. Pulling, I'm just pulling this lead out of the fan. <laughs> so doesn't get caught by the fan. She's going with that, would you? No. Maybe I'll even take some of these tools, uh, you know, clear the, uh, the area a little bit. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, is it on petrol now? Yep. Click it to gas. Okay. Click it back to petrol. No sound. Damn rough, like it's not getting fuel. It's getting spark. You got WD-40 or anything, um, anything that's flammable? Yeah. Yeah, you just jump in the car. Alright. Okay, give it a crank over. Yeah, start it. Start it. Give it a bit of throttle. Yeah, hold the throttle open when you crank. Yeah, okay, so we're just going through uh, different uh, causes that maybe won't be firing. So what we've done, we've got one of the old spark plugs, we've attached it to the lead, and yeah, we just want to see it actually fire so we can eliminate that spark problem and then we can go through the list of exactly, you know, what we think is wrong with it. Yeah, yeah we got ignition. That's yeah. a good sign. Okay, so spark's all good. Tell me if the pump pumps all like in the noise. Okay, well there were some wires that were disconnected. We should have checked all this sort of stuff, but anyway, we've connected up. We want to see whether the uh, pump fires. No noise? No, no noise, but you just try to turn it on anyway. All right, so LPG, it's left a lot of wiring. The previous owner probably snipped some wires and left them there. So anyway, we've been chasing electrical problems. There's a couple of relays that were added for the LPG system, so we've been sort of just sifting through all of that anyway look we'll we'll give it a go we reckon that it might fire we'll see how we go so cranking she's alive come around the back Oh mate, listen to that exhaust note. There's nothing even coming out besides just, uh, well, exhaust fumes. How about that, guys? 